Good morning, and welcome to another um, episode of our training here at eCyclers USA. Today, we want to talk about the, uh, the goals of our phone calls and the objectives in order to reach that goal. So, we'll start off with, uh, with six basic objectives and uh, discuss those. But the goal of each call is to, is to enroll a client in our services and our program. Therefore, you must be able to set clear objectives before making these phone calls in order to achieve this. For the purpose of this training, we're going to focus on six basic objectives. However, as you continue to build relationships with prospective clients, you may find it necessary to adjust your approach to handle different situations. We'll start with objective one, and that is to find the decision maker. If this is your first call to a prospective client or you've been unable to make contact with the decision maker, you want to felt, uh, develop a strategy to determine who the decision maker is and how to get in touch with them. This means that you should always ask the receptionist um, or person answering the phone for the name of the individual in the position that you are asking for. For example, may I speak with your IT director? You, um, usually, you're going to get an answer such as, yeah, sure, let me transfer you. Um, so, okay, um, you want to ask at that point, okay, may I ask who I'll be speaking with? You want to get the name of the person they're transferring you to. This will allow you to capture the name so that uh, you can begin to ask for this person by name in future phone calls. Also, if you know who the decision maker is but you have yet to make contact with them, it's recommended to try different strategies instead of simply asking for, let's say, Ben Davis um, every time just to leave a message. Um, maybe ask for a different department, ask if there's another way to contact Mr. Davis, etc. This objective is listed first for a reason, and that's because it's the most important. In order to enroll a client, we must first speak to the individual in charge with making that decision. And our second objective is to ask qualifying questions to determine how we can be of service. So this is an important step in the process because it allows us to interview the potential clients to determine the services that would be beneficial to them. For instance, if you're speaking with someone who generates e-waste very infrequently, it probably would not be compelling to offer frequent reoccurring pickups. Likewise, if you're speaking to a potential client who produces large quantities of e-waste, you wouldn't want to brag about our minimum pickup quantity being extremely low. These questions should be open-ended questions that encourage the individual you're speaking with to answer with something other than yes or no. Um, this should be a conversation with a client and not an interrogation. Questions like, tell me a little bit about your current recycling program, or what types of material are you currently recycling, or how often is your current recycling company picking up from you, uh, and how much material do they typically pick up each time. These questions will give you the ability to determine the types of services the client will be using and how we can offer them services that will be appealing to them. And then step three, this sets us up for our third objective, and that is to determine our unique selling propositions for this prospect. That means that we will take the information gathered um, in the previous step and we will use that to create a customized service that will fit the prospect based on their needs. For example, if the prospect is telling you that they collect a large amount of material, you can discuss our ability to handle large volumes of material. If a prospect is concerned with data security, you can explain our various hard drive services and the peace of mind that goes along with them. It will be your responsibility to determine how, um, what services can be offered based upon the answers to the qualifying questions. You must also rely on your managers and trainers in order to help you develop a unique selling proposition. And this moves us on to objective four. And objective four is to determine the purpose or the intended outcome of the call. Is it to advance them to, to a literature review, um, advance them to a turnover, or actually to close them, or various other objectives? Um, when they discuss this, um, you know, we've got to advance them to a literature review. And this is where you would send them some literature for them to review and actually and actually discuss. Now, um, this is not what we what we um, typically what we traditionally fall into of. Um, trying to rush somebody off the phone, so instead of selling them our services, we want to send them our services so that they can they can look at it themselves. This is actually once you've discussed this with somebody, you have somebody that's genuinely interested and wants to review some further information. That's what we're talking about here. This is not massively sending out uh, emails 
just to try to uh, to see if we can snag a new client. Um, so this step is important. We it, it, we want to advance them to one of multiple, one of many different stages. Um, and, and what we want to get to on that is it are you trying to get a literature review, or are you looking to turn over this client, uh, this prospective client, to uh, to your manager, to your trainer, to somebody else in the company, or are you looking to move this client into actually closing this client on our services and scheduling service for them? Um, this sets us up for step five, and step five is to present the unique selling proposition to the prospect and drive for the intended outcome of the phone call. This is the action part of the, of the phone call where you take the information that you had gathered through the previous step and pitch our services to the client. Um, th so this is going to be a semi-scripted phone call. Um, the script is going to be determined by the conversation you've had. There's really no way to have a, a written um, hard script for this type of phone call because there's what there's a lot of variables based on the previous conversation that you've had with the client and based on the uh, the previous steps so we want to take the information and make a pitch make an, a proposition to the client so that they can uh, we can try to move on and, and advance them to the stage that we discussed now you may not be trying to close every every client that you speak with you may be trying to um, get the literature you turn them over to a uh, a manager or simply you know actually get in uh, have a discussion with the uh, decision maker there so um, then we want to move to our last our final objective and that is objective number six so objective six is this is the review phase of the call and in this step you'll you'll assess the call results and the class decision stage to determine the next steps in this step you will set up the next phone call by reviewing the conversation leaving notes in the client's uh, uh, database in the client's record and um, determining the next steps for the clients. This will allow you to set appropriate follow-up dates and make it much easier to ensure that your next phone call goes as smoothly as possible. So this is where you will, if you if this client comes to you and, and they seem to you maybe a couple weeks out of making a decision, maybe three, uh, maybe a month out, maybe two or three months out, this is where you'll determine when to contact them back. If, if, they're, if they're looking to make a decision in the near future, we don't want to set them out two months because they may very well make a decision to go with somebody else that, that, um, that follows up with them sooner. So um, each of these steps is set up in an order that provides you with the best possibility of making a phone call with a positive outcome and, ex and successfully enrolling a client as a prospect or a prospect as a client. Excuse me. Um, continue to work these steps until these steps become second nature, and so review these steps you know, um, right quick. We want to objective one. We find the decision maker. Then we move on to uh, objective two, which objective two is to ask the qualifying questions to determine um, how we can be of service. Then we're going to determine our unique selling proposition for the client based on their needs based on the conversation we just had with them. Um, we are going to then determine the purpose. What is our goal here? What is our purpose of this phone call? Are we what stage are we trying to get them to? Um, present the, number five is present their unique selling opportunity, the action step, the the uh, the boots on the ground. We are actually pitching this in step five. And then step six, we're gonna review the, the phone call. We are going to notate the database and determine the next steps for this particular prospect that we are working with.